In this episode, I'll tell you about three secrets that will help you win and triumph over a narcissist. However, it's crucial to have a deep understanding and know exactly who you are dealing with. By that, I mean that before you look for a way to triumph over this toxic narcissist, you must be aware that you are dealing with someone who not only lacks empathy but also lacks a conscience to a significant extent. This type of person not only lacks empathy and conscience but is also willing to respond to you in the way he sees fit, whether it's to prove he's right and win his battle, or to portray himself as a victim to others, regardless of the severity of the harm he inflicts on you. In short, a narcissist is willing to do anything to make people see him in the light that serves his goals and interests. The goals of a narcissist may include making you appear as a bad person or making you the one at fault in your relationship with him. I want to emphasize that, even though I use male pronouns for simplicity, it's essential to understand that narcissistic individuals can be both male and female. I also want to thank you for your support, and if you find value in this video, please like and subscribe to the channel to help spread this information to anyone who may need it. A narcissist will accuse you of being a liar, while he himself never stops lying to you. He is ready to speak lies about you to anyone willing to listen or believe him. Therefore, you must remember that a narcissist is willing to do anything to achieve the expected result with you. Be aware from the beginning that you are dealing with someone who lacks any ethical principles when entering into conflicts with you, and lying is the easiest thing a narcissist can do in his life. When you become a target for a narcissist, he will say and do anything in the world to cause you the greatest pain and suffering, just to feel the triumph and victory over you. You should also be aware that you are dealing with someone completely immersed in himself, with limitless selfishness and a tremendous imaginary sense of entitlement. This is entirely normal for a narcissist, who always feels he has the right to hurt you, blame you, or mistreat you, even for the slightest reason. Before anything else, you need to understand what you are dealing with to anticipate any behavior or action he might take against you. Let's agree on something, and it's what I advise everyone to do, try to minimize your interactions with someone you have confirmed to be a narcissist. Once you've reached this conclusion and realize that this person's actions towards you are harmful and toxic, and he is manipulating and deceiving you, you should distance yourself. This person looks at life with a distorted perspective and is very keen on distorting and falsifying reality in a way that suits him. He lies pathologically without pause or boredom. Once you determine that the person you're dealing with is a narcissist, regardless of their relationship or closeness to you, the best thing you can do for yourself is to minimize your interactions with them as much as possible. I understand that sometimes this may not be easy, comfortable, or even feasible. However, the best course of action for yourself is to completely cut off contact. If you find yourself unable to do this and unable to avoid the narcissist's mistreatment, the only solution is complete separation to save yourself and your life from the destruction that could occur in a toxic relationship. When you decide to separate emotionally and psychologically from the narcissist, to the extent that there is no reaction or response to any harm the narcissist may try to inflict on you, it means cutting off the narcissistic supply that they would receive from your reactions. By separating from the narcissist, you deprive them of any emotional reaction or response from you, whether directly or indirectly. When you sever ties with the narcissist, it indicates that they will receive zero narcissistic supply, meaning you deny them any satisfaction or emotional engagement. However, the question now is whether this is possible or easy to achieve. Of course, with practice and getting used to it, it can be done. You should have no interest whatsoever to the maximum extent possible, and you should not exhibit any emotions as much as you can. The most crucial thing the narcissist is looking for is your reaction, which represents the narcissistic supply they expect from you. Therefore, you must be aware that the narcissist will try to provoke you to elicit the desired reaction. The constant search of the narcissist is for attention, whether positive or negative. It doesn't matter the type of attention, any form of attention is highly beneficial to them. An excellent method that can help you achieve this is the Grey Rock Method. This method enables you to maintain complete self-preservation by not reacting to any provocation and ensuring that no useful response comes out of you. 
This approach can be extremely useful when you find the narcissist talking to you provocatively or engaging in behaviors that feel like they're getting on your nerves. The calmer and less reactive you are, the safer you'll be, and your situation will be better with them. Be careful not to fall into the trap and always view the situation as an attempt to provoke you, nothing more. When you shift to a state where you no longer provide any stimuli for the narcissist, and there's nothing attracting them to you, and you have no reactions that they can exploit, the narcissist becomes frustrated and disinterested in trying to provoke and harm you. This is because you are not a source of emotional or narcissistic supply for them at that moment. Don't let yourself become a source of supply for a toxic person whose only goal is to fulfill their twisted needs by causing intentional harm and distress to you. Therefore, no matter what happens, try to maintain this state and stop giving the narcissist your energy and strength, depriving yourself of it. While the advice may sound simple, practicing it may require some training until you get used to implementing it with a narcissist. If you feel unable to communicate or find it challenging to execute this approach, consider seeking help from a professional therapist or someone knowledgeable in dealing with narcissistic behavior. When you can deal with the narcissist in a way that is indifferent and completely uninterested in anything related to them, it becomes very challenging for them to provoke you and have any impact on you to elicit reactions that the narcissist can use against you. They become completely powerless in front of you. Remember a crucial point, the narcissist always wants you in a defensive position, continuously defending yourself and engaging in endless arguments. They derive immense satisfaction when you are in this state. The narcissist thoroughly enjoys absorbing your energy and spirit. Therefore, try to provide yourself a service by making sure you don't give the narcissist the opportunity to drag you into this game, as it's their territory, and they are exceptionally skilled in it. To successfully overcome a narcissist and make them feel helpless towards you, it's crucial to completely forget that you're dealing with a normal person. This approach can be extremely useful when you find the narcissist talking to you provocatively or engaging in behaviors that feel like they're getting on your nerves. The calmer and less reactive you are, the safer you'll be, and your situation will be better with them. Be careful not to fall into the trap and always view the situation as an attempt to provoke you, nothing more. When you shift to a state where you no longer provide any stimuli for the narcissist, and there's nothing attracting them to you, and you have no reactions that they can exploit, the narcissist becomes frustrated and disinterested in trying to provoke and harm you. This is because you are not a source of emotional or narcissistic supply for them at that moment. Don't let yourself become a source of supply for a toxic person whose only goal is to fulfill their twisted needs by causing intentional harm and distress to you. Therefore, no matter what happens, try to maintain this state and stop giving the narcissist your energy and strength, depriving yourself of it. While the advice may sound simple, practicing it may require some training until you get used to implementing it with a narcissist. If you feel unable to communicate or find it challenging to execute this approach, consider seeking help from a professional therapist or someone knowledgeable in dealing with narcissistic behavior. When you can deal with the narcissist in a way that is indifferent and completely uninterested in anything related to them, it becomes very challenging for them to provoke you and have any impact on you to elicit reactions that the narcissist can use against you. They become completely powerless in front of you. Remember a crucial point, the narcissist always wants you in a defensive position, continuously defending yourself and engaging in endless arguments. They derive immense satisfaction when you are in this state. The narcissist thoroughly enjoys absorbing your energy and spirit. Therefore, try to provide yourself a service by making sure you don't give the narcissist the opportunity to drag you into this game, as it's their territory, and they are exceptionally skilled in it. To successfully overcome a narcissist and make them feel helpless towards you, it's crucial to completely forget that you're dealing with a normal person. And remember, don't engage with the narcissist in any conflicts or arguments the sole purpose is to provoke you and lead you into wrongdoing. Be aware that the less you speak and the more composed your reactions are without any emotional outbursts, the more it unsettles the narcissist because they realize their weakness in front of you. By adopting this approach, you affirm to the narcissist that you know your true self-worth and won't accept any mistreatment from them or anyone else. 
You let the narcissist know that you prioritize yourself over them personally and over anyone who doesn't treat you with the respect that aligns with your true value. When you can do this, you leave the narcissist without any power or control over you at all. Keep in mind that when you can act this way, you give yourself the opportunity to think about yourself, your goals, and your true achievements that were delayed due to your relationship with a toxic narcissistic person. Consequently, you can achieve complete healing from this toxic relationship. Try to be smart when dealing with a narcissistic person, and don't give them any information they can use against you. Keep your words very minimal. Try to learn how to stay silent, the less you speak, the better it is for you, and the safer you are. Be aware that any information about you becomes a weapon in the hands of the narcissist, used to attack you when angered or seeking revenge, regardless of the reasons that might lead them to act this way. Make sure that the narcissist will use any lies they can come up with against you. They will fabricate stories and manipulate any situation to their advantage, even if it means distorting the truth. The narcissist, by nature, when they realize they no longer have control over you, will say unimaginable things and take actions to retaliate against you and harm you again. Trust me, your attempts to hurt the narcissist are unnecessary. If you can do what I told you, the result of silence and ignorance with a narcissist is terrific, and its outcomes are much better than your attempts to directly insult them. If you have the ability to distance yourself immediately without even thinking about revenge or direct confrontation, believe me, it would be the best thing you could do for yourself, to escape and stay far away from this relationship. If you can handle the situation as discussed today, the narcissist will know that they are of no use to you, and they themselves will think about distancing from you and leaving you. Consequently, you'll be relieved from them and their manipulation. This was today's episode, I hope you found it beneficial. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments. Also, if you have any feedback or advice regarding the channel, please share it with me. Thank you.